Hello dear YouTube viewers and my dear YouTube blog. Um, this is a second update within 10 minutes. Uh, it's an update because I haven't done a what is in bloom video for two, three months, two, three months, something like that. So it is the 3rd of April. It's time to see what's in bloom because it's spring outside. It's really lovely and stuff is happening because finally something started to grow and it started to bloom which makes me, me very very happy so first of all what is still in bloom um, so you can see this guy this guy Papio Pedalum Borough is still in bloom I'm very happy although although I can see it the flower is getting quite old now because it's been in bloom for probably what, a month, two months now. <clears throat> yeah, it's been in bloom for two months now and you can see some signs that the flower is slowly starting to get old because it's lost some of its color. It's much paler now. It was very, very orange. It, like this kind of burned yellow. Now it's getting a bit lighter and paler, but it's still going nice and strong. So yes, it's very lovely and I'm still very very happy with it and I'm hopefully hopefully I'll be able to bloom another flower because you have huge growths and I can uh, the only problem I dislike at the socket is it has wobbly leaves as I look. Seriously? Really? Wobble? <coughs> anyway, so this one is in bloom. It is huge on that. It's like the house guardians look like it's there it's behind me it's always there it's like looking um <clears throat> what else what else what else we have this guy which is the papio pedalum exul which is beautiful it's a beautiful plant uh, this is the gift I received from Orchid Garden Nursery. I'm really, really stupendously happy with it. It is absolutely amazing. The plant is gorgeous and hopefully it will grow more, more plants. Oh, by the way, it's like, this is my thumb. This is tiny. It's very tiny. And it doesn't look like a papio petal in any way, it just looks like a grass. It's like a tropical grassy plant. Um, there's a lot of people that have been asking me for this one uh, because there's a lot of fan of fans of this plant and I can't... Well, I'm not surprised. First of all... Uh, first of all... <laughs> um, oh, let's say, what is this? You probably should know. Yes, you do know. This is the Volkiara Yokara Perfection uh, crossed with Oncidium Leuconium, uh, which is a complex hybrid. Um, hold on, what Um, which basically I've got this plan from the Orchid Nursery, Ray Creek, which I've done a quite bad review on my blog. I'm not going to do a video because I don't want to do a video about this one. If I do a, a, a video, I'll probably do about Schwerte or Wickmann or Relke. <coughs> no, 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 just, I just don't want to get there because, yeah, um, you can probably see this plant, when it came to me, it only had this bulb and this bulb, and it took it two years to get to the state it is now, and it is, yeah, paying a lot of money for a rescue orchid is not something I'd like. Anyway, so... In the first thing, the flowers are very big, they're very lovely, they have really nice colours as you can see. Um, this is a quite a poor flower style because the pseudo bulb, the one, was, well, the one it was growing, it was, a, it was very stressed because of the previous growth so it didn't reach its full potential and there is less flowers and there's one flower which is mutated because of the stress so it has a double uh, sepal and double lip and it's a bit dodgy dodgy uh, but there's another growth which is growing quite quickly and i'm very happy because uh, it will probably develop to a full potential and this guy can bloom twice or three times a year depends on how big and vigorous it is because uh yeah uh 
Oh, sorry, my eyes. Oh, uh, yes, sorry. So, yes, it basically, this uh, the bulb should be ready at the end of summer. Uh, so, I will have more flowers. <clears throat> and the flowers have an amazing, very sweet fragrance. It is something I can't compare to anything. Hold on. Mm, it smells like you would stuck your nose in a lilac flower on a very, very hot day when the fragrance is very, very strong and sweet. So it's basically this kind of fragrance. And it's very powerful. If you have like a small room like I do and you have your windows closed. Sorry, my hair is just like... If you have your windows closed, it's quite warm indoors. Your whole room will be full of perfumes. So yes, it is a very, very nice flower. Um, and yes, everyone who wants it should get it because it will make you happy for years to come. Technical problems. And also remember this flower has two types of room depending on the amount of light and the temperatures. <clears throat> so that's probably more amount of light. So winter blooms, which is, this is winter bloom. It has more purple and less white. Uh, it's like pink, purple, less white. And the summer blooms will have more white and less pink. What else can you ask for? Flower orchid that blooms twice a year in different colors and it has a wonderful fragrance. Anyways, um, I'm going to get to all the flowering ones, which is, aha, uh, aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, of course, this. <coughs> this is my, oh, sorry. This is my favorite orchid. It is my favorite orchid. I can't say why, because it's beautiful. And this is the, a friend of mine from Instagram actually identified it. Um, oh, God's sake. I had it written down and I don't remember. This is the, uh, Papiopedulum lib wunder, uh, crossed with Kopalagi, Kopalbagi, something like that. I had it written down and the problem is I had a very bad pen and it washed off so I have to find a better pen and write it again. But the good thing is, oh you can see there's two big new growths, it's very big, it's very nice, the flowers are amazing so it's basically like yeah. And some of you don't actually have a fragrance, I was expecting to actually once in my life have a puppy pattern with a fragrance. Maybe one day, at one point of my life, I'll get myself a Delenati or something like that. Um, oh, anyway, these are beautiful. These are quite rare and yeah, it's a very, very nice, nice cross. And <clears throat> I called it a apricot sunset because it does look like apricot and it reminds me of a sunset. Cheesy names. Okay. Um, now, to this guy, because it was very, very pe popular on Instagram when I post posted the picture from last summer blooms, and the last summer bloom were like, OMG, everyone is in love. This, because this is a winter bloom, which is surprisingly, winter blooms have less purple in them, and are more yellowish. You can see the starburst pattern, starburst pattern in the center. But they're not as pink. I don't know why. And um, yeah, I'm expecting probably this is the winter bloom. I'm expecting if it gets a bloom in summer because I have to report it soon, it will probably be as the one from last year. So fingers crossed. But it is still amazing, as you can see. It is beautiful. I never seen any uh, phalaenopsis just like this. And it has a fragrance, so it has a mild honey fragrance, which is very a very, very nice addition. And it just looks nice. And the flowers are very big. Uh, from any other update, this will be the negative update. So I have this guy, which is the Vinicola Papiopedalum. I have no idea what he is doing. I don't think he is doing anything I think he's annoying me. Basically, I've bought it last year and it has two growth which are, look like they're maturing 
and I don't know if it's going to bloom or if it's going to die or is it going to do actually hi guys sorry quick technical error with the phone it just died I didn't notice the fact that it was flashing me that the battery was at 7% and two minutes later it was like no percent shutting the phone down so I said um, I had another dendrobium which is the dendrobium Girac wax which is the Per, uh, burgundy with yellow and that would be it for my update because there's nothing else happening and because my phone is still really really low on the battery I'm just going to say thank you very much for joining me for this video and if you did like it please like it uh, share it uh, subscribe to my channel because uh, the su subscribe button is just down below and if you have any questions or if you want to say something just please put it in the comments yes i'm just flopping my hand here because my laptop is just like flashing i was i was waiting for my phone to charge and i was studying in the meantime so um sorry yeah do that and hopefully i will see you soon thanks for joining me bye